Okay, good morning students. So uh, we're back. This is the start of our second quarter. This is the start of the quarter, no? Uh, so for music, we have lesson one for the second quarter. And I hope you've read uh, your learning guides for lesson one. Now, first of all, let's have a review. Let's have a recap what we have finished uh, during your uh, first quarter, okay? So for music three, we said that uh, there are different periods in in music. No, we started with what we had as medieval age or the middle age, and then afterwards the latter part of of a Q one. He talks about. Uh, this uh, renaissance period okay and with these different periods comes different styles in music comes different characteristic in music and this next um next subject that we have or next topic that we have in music is also another another uh, period in music and also it also has its own characteristic in music okay Sige, I'll pull up my uh, presentation for today's class. Okay. So I'm opening, I'm sharing my presentation for today. Okay, so uh, for the second quarter, the first topic is all about uh, Baroque period. No, So this is brief historical background of music of the Baroque period. Okay, next slide. So, as I said, we started with, this is the timeline of music, and we started with the Middle Age or the Medieval Age that came first before the Renaissance period. And on the latter part of the first quarter, we started also with, uh, we've talked about Renaissance period. And then afterwards, this uh, quarter, or the start of the second quarter, we'll talk about uh, this Baroque period, you know? what were the developments, what were the differences from Middle Age to Renaissance to Baroque? No, ano yung pinagkaiba-iba nila? Why, why do they need this, uh, this uh, periods pa? No, because each period has its own characteristic in music. Each period has a development in society. And that's what we're uh, that we will that's what we'll talk about today. You know, so, yeah, next slide. Now, history and developments during the Baroque period. So, what happened during the Baroque period? We said that Renaissance period was the time of reconstruction. No, uh, Renaissance period was the was the development. No. Kasi we started with the Middle Age. No, nawasak lahat. And that was the Dark Age. No? Uh, culture was broken down or was shattered because of, because of war, devastation. And the Renaissance period, they picked up themselves and started constructing again. Okay? And then afterwards, what happened during this Baroque period? No, okay. Let's first uh, see where did this Baroque name came from? Okay, Baroque from the Portuguese word Baroco, meaning an oddly shaped pearl, has meant bizarre, flamboyant, and elaborately or ornamented. No, so it's very glamorous. Okay, so it's flamboyant, 
And it's a pearl, di ba? Pag sinabi natin pearl, wow! Ang ganda naman. Ma pearl. Very elegant. Okay. After the Renaissance period, such style was preferred especially by the aristocracy or yung mga mayayaman. Louis XIV of France held his events in the Palace of Versailles where grand juice and impressive Baroque paintings and architecture with hired musicians playing on the background symbolizes royalty, wealth, and power. Wow! No? So, after the Renaissance period, this, they uh, continued their development. Okay? And now, we have what we call as aristocracy. No, the, aristocla the aristocrats, sorry. The aristocrats, and these are, these are uh, the wealthy people during their time. No? Ito yung mga mayayaman na tao during their time. And this is one of the examples of the painting during the Baroque period, the one that you're staring at right now. That's a, that's an example. And look how uh, how very detailed no the the painting is. Okay, and then how grandiose it is. Okay. So yeah, you know. And I would like I would like you to hear an example of a uh, baroque music okay sige pakita natin to let's have this this is one example of music during the baroque period no i think you know this no eh, but this was made 1600s or 1700s but until now the students of our time knows this this piece So, do you know that piece? Have you heard about that piece? Or have you heard that piece before? No, this is an example. This is one of the best examples of Baroque music. No, Vivaldi Spring. Yes, that's the four seasons. You have spring, autumn, uh, winter, and summer. And what you heard a while ago was, was spring, one of, uh, one of the seasons. Okay? And this is an example of Baroque music. Napaka okay. Sige, I'll, I'll ask you, what what uh, can you say about that music? Say before I give my comment on that music. Sige nga. Okay, can you give? Can you can you? If you can, uh, uh, turn on your microphones. You may chat it in your chat box. Sige. Okay. So I'll give I'll give my comment or reaction on that piece. I know it's very very elegant. No, pag pinakinggan mo talaga siya uh, I think three or four times I've heard it in an actual in an actual gathering, you know? An orchestra was playing or an ensemble was playing that piece. Wow, ang ganda. And yung datingan, yung dating nung nung uh, nung meeting or ang dating nung mga ano na yun, ano? It's very elegant. It's very formal. Pag nadinig mo yung ganun. When, when a symphony orchestra plays uh, pieces like that, it's very, very formal. And it's very parang grandiose. 
no so this is the the impression or the the feeling that that uh that i uh i felt when when i was hearing this piece during in a gathering okay so yan that's an example of a baroque music and ano nga bang sabi nila no it, uh they want it the people during that time they want their music to be grandiose it's very impressive no yan ang baroque music no tapos na sila dun sa time na ano eh na development eh eto further no upgrading in another level kumbaga okay next so what else happened it seems to be a requirement for the rich and elite class to employ an orchestra a chapel choir and an opera singers isipin mo kung gaano kadami yon no especially when they have their gatherings and events no they have their own orchestra they have their own choir and also they have their soloist singers the number of members of these groups depend on the royal court's wealth isipin mo na lang kung ngayon mababuuin yun how how wealthy are you no how wealthy are you because during this time no pag sinabi mong aristocrat hindi yung ngayon makita mo lang yung bahay maganda oh yung mayaman naman yun no nakita mo yung yung kotse niya uh, naka naka Montero Sport wow Montero Sport no mayaman na agad no during their time when they when they tell you that you're an aristocrat parang mga uh, parang mga siguro dalawang po ang kotse mo or siguro you own probably five helicopters parang ganon. no and this that's how rich they are during that time no that's why they can employ this orchestra these musicians this choir and opera singers or their soloist singers okay kaya ang ang mga musician during their time it's in a pedestal no ibang klase yung treatment ibang klase yung tingin no why because this this profession is not is not for everybody no this profession is not for everybody the musicians are uh, are very very selected only no kokonti lang kasi sila during that time but during their time pag sinabi mong musician ka naman ay ibig sabihin you're close to very perfect Ibig sabihin, uh, you're very good in what you do. Your skills are really updated or your techniques are very are uh, are very advanced. You know why? Because this musician applied for positions. No, This musician applied for positions as court musicians. No, court musicians or their, uh, the aristocrat musicians by taking examinations submitting their composition and some non-musical requirements like forced marriage you know uh even it, even it's not related to their skill no kailangan eh, no kailangan pa but nakita niyo yung requirements to be a musician it's not just you can play an instrument or you can just play one song or two songs when you say you're a musician you're very very good and when they employ you the aristocrats employ you it means that you're really worth it you're really worth it because they pay you a big amount of money to be their musician okay so you have a lot of requirements also next what else no no the, the the musicians during their time are hired by aristocrats or wealthy people dahil wala namang radyo noon eh no wala namang radyo so you can hear only music when 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 this wealthy people uh, gives you the go signals okay orchestra play music and they cannot record it 
no? They cannot record it. They they just hear it and then afterwards, it's done. You cannot record it. You can put in Spotify or uh, iTunes. Wala, hindi. Okay? Ito live lang. After nung live performance, that's finished. Hindi mo na madidinig. And the version that they do, iba yung version ngayon at saka iba yung version sa mga susunod na panahon pa. No? But aside from the wealthy people, who else have these music- musicians? No? The answer is the church. Kaya nag-flourish eh, yung music sa church during this time. No? Baroque period also had, aside from the wealthy people, the church also flourished with music. Now, the churches were also grand. That aside from an organ and a choir, there was also an orchestra to add music to the churches or music to the church masses. Now, sino nagbabayad nito? Eh, di yung mga churches nila ang nagbabayad. Now, where do they play? They play during the mass. Wow! You go to church and then the music is performed by a symphony orchestra. Wow! We did that, no? Uh, when I think in uh, uh, there's there's a place here in in Batangas that that we went, no? Uh, during our uh, music festival, we had to play the whole or the whole mass. No, I'm a member of the orchestra during the time. Yeah, no. So we played the whole the whole mass. The full orchestra of the UST was performing with the with the choir of the UST, and you know, that's how they have it during the Baroque period. That's why music in the church also flourished during the Baroque period. Okay, the upgraded one level, pa. So you started with what? You started with the uh, Gregorian chants, and then after that, you have your madrigals. Your uh, your Renaissance period, and then now they have Baroque pieces now. Okay, they have this what they call as Baroque pieces. Okay, so now for the ordinary people, it was only during church services that they were able to hear music, since there were few concerts available for them, and they were rarely invited to the royal courts. So treatment like this did not stop them to love music, though. Musicians also often played with amateurs like a music get-together in private homes. Okay. No? The ordinary people, the peasants, only hears music when they go to church. Because very rare that they can go to a court or to a house of a wealthy person. No, para makapag-socialize or para makisalo dun sa kanilang sa kanilang feast. No, very that's very rare. No, kung aristocrat, aristocrats lang ang nag, nag-uusap-usap or if you are a wealthy uh, nobleman. Okay? So sila-sila lang yung magkakasama. So saan na ngayon yung mga tao? Paano ngayon nila nadidinig yung music? Now that the church comes in. Okay, pag pumupunta sila sa misa, they have church, uh, they have church masses. Now they hear this this uh, symphony orchestra playing. Okay? And sa mga ano naman, sa mga musicians naman, it's not just only the rich people or the or the or the church. Meron din kami tinatawag na jamming. Nagjajamming din kami, no? And I, I, I was, I was talking to the brab uh, people. Jamming naman tayo during the during the club fair. I'll bring my instruments, and then they would also have their their ano their different instruments. Jam lang. That was what they were doing also during their time. 1600s, 1700s. They were jamming also in a private home. Musicians also often played with amateurs. Like a music get-together in private homes. Parang jamming lang. Okay, next. Now, what happened else? No, ano pa nangyari? It will, 
it was also during this time that there were immense scientific discoveries. And sabi nga natin, they further upgraded it. No? One level up pa. If they started with the development in the Renaissance period, they're upgrading it one step up during the Baroque period. And more discoveries was done. More discoveries were, uh, were uh, knowledge were added because of the Baroque period. Okay? Talented artists were also developing new techniques in the field of art. Thus, it is not surprising that the music created during this time, despite being forgotten until the 20th century, became a favorite, became a favorite to many music lovers. Baroque music began with the first attempt at opera in Italy and ended with the death of Johann Sebastian Bach. Okay, um, I think this is one of our, uh, this is one of uh, my, my recordings when I was in uh, Bukidnon. We, this is the last night that we have. I studied in Malay Balay Bukidnon for I think one month. It's all about liturgical music, you know. I was a scholar of our church. They sent me there to further study liturgical music. And this is after one month. This is our last night. No, uh, So we had a gathering and our teacher said, Ryan, can you please play a Baroque piece? So I said, sir, okay. Game, give me the piece and I'll play it. Okay, so I hope you like this. And then can you please give a reaction later on after, after this uh, video? Sige. Okay, please watch this. And then later on, can you please give your comment? Pagpasensyahan nyo na, ito lang ang kaya kong gawin. <laughs> kaya kong tugtugin eh. Sorry. Sige. Uh, here, it's all the the seats are all uh uh it's vacated because all of my classmates will be sitting there later on nasa nasa backstage sila eh. or nasa nasa back part pa sila kasi this is i think uh i was the second in the program no kaya medyo wala pang tao sa harap dahil nandun sila lahat they were preparing okay sige <laughs> In the harp, in the organ, who played the harpsichord sound was my teacher. Oh. And okay, let's go back. So, what can you say about my performance? What can you say about the the 
the Baroque piece. Sige nga. Can you please give your comments? Any uh, violent reactions from the group? Yan. Sige. Okay. So, isa lang masasabi ko. When you're playing a Baroque piece, it's hard. It's hard. Why is it hard to play a Baroque piece? Because, di ba ang sabi nga natin, yung mga musicians kumukuha ng exam, nagpapagalingan sila para lang makapasok sa mga trabaho. And mas magaling, mas maganda yung piece mo, mas mahirap yung piece mo, mas makukuha ka sa trabaho. Kaya ang mga lumabas na piece during this period are very difficult, period, uh, are very difficult pieces. May hirap talaga siya. Hindi yung mga mga whole notes, half note, quarter note, eight note, hindi ganun ang mga pyesa dito, no? Yan. Sige. Next. Now, what can we say about the characteristic of a Baroque music? Okay? What can you say? Diba sabi nga natin, every period has its own characteristic. Every period has its own uh, uniqueness. And Baroque music or the Baroque period isn't different. It has its own uniqueness also. Number one, sabi, unity of mood. Now, a Baroque piece is commonly expressed in one mood only. If it begins in a joyful tone, it will remain joyful throughout the song. Okay? Mabilis, mula simula, mabilis hanggang sa dulo. Mabagal mula simula, mabagal hanggang sa dulo. Okay? So, yan ang uh, mood, unity of mood, happiness, sadness, agitation. Called before as affections were the common emotions represented in the compositions. Pero, walang pagbabago from the start up to the finish, up to... Yeah, up to the finish. Kung malungkot mula si mula, hanggang dulo na yan, malungkot. Mabibilis na pyesa, mula si mula hanggang dulo, mabilis na yan. Okay? That's how they do it in a Baroque, in a Baroque composition. Next, rhythm. So what can you say about its rhythm? No? Rhythmic patterns found at the start of a piece are repeated in the entire song. Kasi nga, Yung mood niya from the start up to the finish, iisa lang. Kaya yung rhythmic pattern niya mula simula hanggang dulo, pare-parehas lang. Same, no? kung natatandaan niyo yung kaninang, yung kaninang pinerform ko, mula simula mabilis hanggang dulo mabilis. Okay, nag-cut kami. After the cut, nagsimula kami ulit. Mabilis pa rin hanggang dulo pa rin. Mabilis pa rin siya. So, ganun siya. Continuity of rhythm further emphasizes to the unity of mood. No, because when you start happy, you end happy. Okay, next. Okay. Melody. The opening melody is heard over and over again in a Baroque piece. Okay. So, yun yung pinaka-tema. We call it, for the musicians, it's called the team. No, ito yung tema. Kahit anong gawin mong variation dyan. Variation 1, variation 2. Yung pa rin yung melody pattern. No? Pinahirapan mo lang. Dinagdagan mo lang ng kung ano-anong uh, ornamental music dyan. Or kung anong nagpapaganda dyan. But the melody is always that melody. That's always the theme of the piece. The character of the piece also remains constant because your melody is constant. Okay, the character and also the unity of the mood is constant throughout. Baroque melodies sound so elaborate that they are hard to sing or there is no song recall because it's very, very hard. You know, pag kinanta mo siya, hindi naman siya yung katulad na songs natin ngayon na may mga lyrics, lyrics eh. No. Meron minsan la 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 la. Okay? So baroque pieces are very hard to sing. Baroque pieces are very hard to perform or to play. 
you have you need to have this uh advanced skill no because it's really hard okay next how about the dynamics no because there is continuity of rhythm and melody the dynamics volume remains constant Walang ganong crescendo dito, hindi ginagamit ang crescendo or decrescendo. Dito, pag sinabing dynamics, malakas. Pagkatapos sa susunod, mahina. Yun lang. Mahina, malakas. Mahina, malakas. Or kung malakas ka, all throughout, malakas ka. Wala yung pakonti-konti, bigla kang hihina, pakonti-konti, bigla kang lalakas. Walang ganon sa baroque music. Okay? If there is a shift in the dynamics, it is usually abrupt. Malakas. Pagdating mo rito, mahina na lahat. And then, pagdating mo dyan, malakas. Okay, ganun. Walang pakonti-konti. Wala siyang, ano, no? Wala siyang uh, crescendo or decrescendo. Walang ganun. Gradual transition from crescendo to decrescendo were rarely observed in Baroque pieces. Halos wala, no? very rare. Organ and harpsichord were the most commonly used keyboard instruments because it suits the kind of dynamics of Baroque composition. Yung kanina, yung teacher ko, he was playing the keyboard. No? The sound that it produced was a harpsichord sound. No? Hindi sila, usually kasi sabi niya, when, when he was teaching me or us in, in, uh, in Malay, Balay Bukid nun, uh, Usually during that time the church uses a harpsichord. No, it's a smaller version of a piano. No, and the the pitch is higher, mas matining. Mas matining ang tunong ng harpsichord kesa sa kesa sa piano. Okay? Yan. So, what are the characteristic unity of mood? Pag sinabing unity of mood number one, unity of mood, okay, all throughout no it's constant the mood is constant if it's happy no the whole piece is happy if it's sad the whole piece is sad okay next the rhythm kung ano yung sinimulan mo rhythm hanggang sa dulo yun pa rin ang rhythm mo okay number three, the melody the melody is constant the theme is constant the theme of the piece is constant. And you will hear it throughout the piece of a Baroque piece. Okay? And number four, the dynamics. Okay? The, the shift of dynamics is very abrupt. Okay? They usually don't use crescendo or very rarely use crescendo and decrescendo. Because they want it, if you're, if you're forte, that's forte. During this time, during this measure, if you're, if you're a piano, piano. Walang pa konti konti to go to the piano or walang pa konti konti going to that forte. No. So basta baroque music, they they want it fixed abrupt. Okay? Next. No, about the texture. Now, what can we say about the texture of a baroque music? Late baroque music is dominated by polyphonic textures. Meaning many, many melodic lines now, many, many instruments, no? Pinagsasama-sama na. Where two or more melodic lines are combined to contend for the audience's attention. Okay? Then the soprano and bass were considered the most important, so important voices. Why is that? Because nagsasagutan siya. Nagsasagutan yung soprano. La, 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 la. Then sasagutin siya ng bass. No, para hindi maputol, para hindi maputol yung 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 line na yon, sasagutin naman siya ng bass. La 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 la. Okay? So that is why during this baroque music, sopranos and bass were considered the most important voices. Okay? High and low tone. Okay. Vocal music shifts in texture and was sometimes expressed in homophonic style. What do you mean by homophonic? Okay? So, sabi niya, no? Pag homophonic, they have, they have the same melodic line. They have the same melodic line, but different texture. Okay? 
Soprano, kinakanta tong melodic line na to. Kinakanta rin ni bass tong melodic line na to. Pero iba yung texture nila. Si bass, makapal na makapal yung tunog. Si soprano, ay manipis na manipis yung tunog. Pero isang melodic line ang kinakanta nila. Okay? Next, back pieces lean toward polyphonic texture while handles preferred a, con a contrast between polyphonic and homophonic. So, pwedeng, pwedeng maraming melodic lines na pinagsasama-sama, pinagsasabong-sabong nila. No? This is the style of back. And then handle no, between polyphonic and homophonic. Sometimes maraming melodic lines. Minsan, isang melodic line pero uh, different texture ang lumalabas no these are these are the styles that they have or the, the different textures that they produce no in their compositions yan now chords and the basso basso continuo ito yung sinasabi natin kanina no pag sinabi natin oh, sige let's uh, let's read first chords became an important part of pieces during the Baroque period compared to the earlier times where the concern was on the individuality of melodic lines. Okay, dito na nag-start yung chords. The triads. No? Sige nga, sample nga kayo ng triads. Ano ba yung mga triads natin? May mga chords natin? O pag sinabi natin C chord, <coughs> ano ba yung triad na nasa C chord? Or pag sinabi natin D, D chord, ano ba itong mga ito? No? Yan. The interest in chords gave way to the most characteristic features of Baroque music, which is an accompaniment called basso continuo or figured bass. Okay? Ito yung saluhan ng soprano at saka ng bass. Parang may continuity. No? So, yan. No? So, kung, kung uh, ginawa ni Soprano ganito sa, sa higher register, sa, sa high pitch, sasagutin naman siya ni, ni bass sa low pitch, pero same melodic line din yung gagawin. Okay? Then, continuo is commonly played by at least two instruments. Okay, keyboard instrument and a low melodic instrument such as cello or bassoon. Continuo. Okay? So parang yung, ito yung ginawa ng uh, high pitch instrument, sasaluhin naman siya ng low pitch instrument na ganun din yung gagawin. But, magkaduktong silang dalawa. Magkaduktong. Continuous nga eh, continuo eh. And it offered to highlight the bass part in compositions aside from giving a constant movement of chords. Yeah, next. Now, word and music. Ito ang sinasabi lang naman ito. Eh. Do you remember word painting? Now, word painting, no? In in Renaissance period. No, sabi natin yung word painting. Pag sinabi mong heaven, Heaven yung word. So, yung, yung, yung pitch niya papunta sa langit, papataas. And when you say hell, mula mataas, pababa naman yung pitch niya. That's word painting. Okay? So, they usually use this daw during the Baroque music. For example, no heaven is set on a high tone while hell has a low tone. So, they use also this uh, word painting during the Baroque music. Next. Okay. So we're here in the synthesis now. No. The Baroque period which flourished, this is the timeline from 1600 to 750, was famous for its grandiose, extravagant, flamboyant, dramatic, and energetic spirit with a diverse style of expression. Because the musicians were at a competition with each other, with others to be recognized by the royal courts, they made sure to create masterpieces that stands out from the rest 
by making their pieces glamorous in its forms. It's not only glamorous, but very skillful and difficult. No, para para masabing wow. There's always a wow factor. Now, the royalty demanded spectacular entertainment as this represents their wealth, power, and fame. Thus, if anyone can hear Baroque compositions in the present day, the one thing that could come into the mind of the listener is that it sounds so luxurious. Okay, talagang very uh, grandiose. No, ang mga baroque music performances and kasi nga because the musicians are now competing with each other no laban laban na yan no pagalingan na yan Luma, dyan lalabas yung kung gaano ka ka skillful or kung gaano ka kagaling yan okay so so with that i'm ending my sing class for today uh, I hope you learned something, you know, uh, about this uh, the Baroque music. We'll we'll still further study Baroque music during the course of our second quarter uh, learning guides. So this is an introduction to uh, Baroque music. So thank you for listening. Thank you for attending my sing class for today, and uh, I hope I see you again. I hope uh, I hope we we'll meet each other again. Uh, on my other sync classes. Okay? Okay, thank you and good day. Bye-bye.